Back in the day, DC Comics were all the rage, stealing the show with their famous heroes, but then Marvel dropped the bombshell with the Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes. This show didn't just tell stories from the comics, it practically brought them to life. With its spot-on adaptations and love for the original material, Earth's Mightiest Heroes set a new bar for Marvel stuff. It was like diving straight into the comics, but on TV. Before we get on this journey, let's lay down some groundwork to grasp the essence of the series. In the aftermath of a massive prison breakout orchestrated by S.H.I.E.L.D., the Avengers assemble, comprising a formidable lineup including Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, the Hulk, Ant-Man, the Wasp, Black Panther, and Hawkeye. Together, they confront the most powerful supervillains threatening Earth such as Baron Zemo, the Leader, Kang the Conqueror, and Ultron, as well as the Hydra and AIM organizations. Unveiling a sinister plot, it's revealed that Thor's mischievous brother Loki engineered the prison break to unleash chaos and paved the way for his conquest of Earth, utilizing the masters of evil led by the Enchantress as a distraction. However, the Avengers find reinforcements in the form of Ms. Marvel and the Vision. Alongside battling foes like Doctor Doom, Thunderbolt Ross, and the Red Skull, they face extraterrestrial adversaries including the Skrulls and the Kree, along with cosmic threats like Galactus and the looming Ragnarok by the fire demon Surtur. Amidst the turmoil, familiar faces like Spider-Man, Wolverine, and Ant-Man make appearances, adding layers of complexity to the story. With that foundation laid, let the adventure begin. Season 1 Iron Man, aided by Jarvis, confronts AIM selling Stark tech to Latveria via Doctor Doom's agent, Lucia Von Bardas. After a showdown, Iron Man warns Bardas against further use of his tech. Meanwhile, at the queue, Samson encounters various villains while tending to the Hulk, who warns of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s dangerous plans. Thor rebuffs an offer from Baldur to return to Asgard, choosing instead to protect the city. Iron Man delivers AM members to Jimmy Woo at the vault, but disagrees with Fury's containment methods. Ant-Man discusses ominous warnings with Mad Thinker, while Wasp considers Fury's offer. A blackout triggers chaos as the big house reverts to its original size due to Pym Particles malfunctioning. During a blackout, chaos erupts as prisoners escape their cells in the vault, the cube, and the big house. The big house expands within the helicarrier, causing mayhem. Samson is caught in an explosion of gamma radiation in the cube. Fury struggles to regain control as Grey Gargoyle turns agents to stone and other villains wreak havoc. Meanwhile, Iron Man rushes to the vault upon Pepper's call, while Thor, torn between Earth and Asgard, investigates an explosion. Banner aids Samson in the cube, revealing only the Hulk can stop the chaos. In the vault, Hawkeye confronts escaping inmates. In the helicarrier, Wasp and Ant-Man battle villains, but the ship crashes into the ocean, intensifying the crisis. In the vault, Iron Man intervenes in Hawkeye's skirmish with Whiplash, but mistakenly attacks Hawkeye. As villains overwhelm Iron Man, he initiates an evacuation and self-destruct sequence before escaping. The vault explodes, injuring Iron Man. In the queue, Banner transforms into Hulk, battling Zizax. Meanwhile, the leader plots as villains clash with Hulk. In the helicarrier, Ant-Man and Wasp confront Whirlwind and Griffin. The queue erupts in chaos as Hulk fights Abomination and Absorbing Man, eventually fleeing with Samson. Fury faces Graviton at the raft, narrowly escaping his powers. Ten years ago, in 2000 on the S.H.I.E.L.D. helicarrier, Nick Fury discusses recruiting Franklin Hall, intrigued by his super-soldier project akin to Captain America's. Hall conducting a risky experiment, triggers an explosion and gains gravity powers. In the present release from captivity, Hall confronts Fury alongside Baron Zemo. Graviton seeking vengeance battles Fury until Thor intervenes. Iron Man in damaged armor joins the fray. Fury briefs Ant-Man on Graviton's identity. As Thor struggles against Graviton, Hulk debates his role with Bruce, ultimately embracing heroism. At the harbor, the battle rages on, with Wasp aiding Thor against Graviton. Iron Man boosts into action, but Graviton flings him into space. Ant-Man becomes Giant Man to restrain Graviton, but the villain breaks free. Thor frees himself and confronts Graviton, revealing Fury's decoy. Graviton pursues the real Fury, who escapes, while Thor strikes him down, saving the city. Iron Man returns and impales Graviton, but the villain retaliates, sending everyone flying. Hulk arrives, engaging Graviton. Despite his resilience, Graviton is overwhelmed by the united assault of the heroes. As Graviton falls, Wasp delivers the final blow, rendering him unconscious. Thor suggests celebration, but Shigild arrives to capture Hulk. Iron Man defends him, urging unity against the escaped villains. They agree to form a team, dubbing themselves the Avengers. Fury learns others caused the breakout, leaving him to ponder the true culprit. As Ultimo wreaks havoc in the park, a tourist captures the chaos on video, 
Iron Man intervenes just in time to save the tourists from harm, but the explosive battle is caught on tape and quickly spreads through the news. In the car, Rhodey expresses concern over Tony's involvement in superhero affairs, advocating for S.H.I.E.L.D. to handle such threats. Tony remains determined and heads to Stark Tower. At the tower, he meets Pepper Potts, who informs him of a high Jarral attack on the United Nations. He swiftly dons his Iron Man armor and flies to the scene. Facing off against high Jarral forces, he warns them to cease their attack, but they retaliate, prompting him to engage in battle. Meanwhile, in the helicarrier, Fury receives updates on Iron Man's arrival and monitors the situation closely. Iron Man finds himself outnumbered by Hydra Dreadnoughts, his armor malfunctioning due to their connection to his own tech. Despite his efforts, he struggles to disable the Dreadnoughts, prompting concern from Pepper and Rhodey. As the battle intensifies, S.H.I.E.L.D. arrives to assist, deploying Mandroids to engage the Hydra forces. Fury observes the conflict while Maria awaits his orders. Jarvis provides updates on Iron Man's armor power levels and weapon recharging, but Iron Man rejects the order to stand down when he discovers that the Mandroids are equipped with his own technology. Maria reports Iron Man's findings to Fury, who orders a retreat. Despite the confusion, Iron Man assists in neutralizing the remaining threats, including the Hydra robot. Iron Man discusses the situation with Nick Fury, revealing that Hydra acquired his technology through S.H.I.E.L.D.'s involvement. Back at Stark Tower, Iron Man recounts the battle to Roddy and Pepper, who express concern over his solo efforts. Ignoring their advice, Tony remains steadfast in his mission. Meanwhile, Nick Fury escorts Hydra prisoners to the vault, including notable villains like M.O.D.O.K., Crimson Dynamo, Technovore, and Baron Wolfgang von Strucker. A high draw agent revealed to be the Grim Reaper attempts to free Strucker, but Fury intervenes. In the ensuing confrontation, Strucker drains some of Fury's life force, aging him prematurely. Despite the setback, Fury overpowers Strucker and apprehends the Grim Reaper. With the situation under control, Maria questions Fury about the prisons, revealing her surprise at their existence. Fury explains that each prison serves a different purpose, highlighting the complexity of their operations. After battling the Wrecking Crew to protect the Gamma Energy Emitter, Thor is called upon to defend Asgard against an invasion of Frost Giants. In the fierce battle that ensues, the God of Thunder confronts his treacherous half-brother Loki, who seeks to sow chaos and seize power. Despite Loki's cunning tactics, Thor emerges victorious and banishes Loki to the Isle of Silence as punishment for his betrayal. Meanwhile, as Odin enters the Odin sleep to revive and protect Asgard, he commands Thor to remain and safeguard their realm in his absence. Reluctantly leaving Asgard behind, Thor returns to Earth to continue his duties as its protector. Unbeknownst to Thor, Loki reflects on his schemes from his exile, plotting his next move with the help of the Enchantress and the Executioner. With his cunning and manipulation, Loki orchestrates a series of events to undermine Thor and seize control of Asgard once more. As Bruce Banner continues his elusive pursuit of the absorbing man in Las Vegas, he finds himself entangled in a dangerous game of cat and mouse with law enforcement and the military's Hulkbusters unit. Desperate to cure the absorbing man of his powers, Banner is manipulated into transforming into the Hulk by his cunning rival. In a following battle in the desert, the Hulk emerges victorious against the absorbing man, but is soon confronted by the relentless Hulkbusters. However, the situation takes a surprising turn when S.H.I.E.L.D. agents Hawkeye and the Black Widow intervene, ordering the Hulkbusters to stand down. Despite the Hulkbusters' firepower, Hawkeye and the Black Widow manage to subdue and capture the Hulk, along with the defeated Absorbing Man. Both captives are then transported to the cube for imprisonment under S.H.I.E.L.D.'s watchful eye. While in custody, Banner's blood sample is taken by Leonard Sampson, who remains determined to find a cure for him. Meanwhile, Hawkeye, suspicious of the Black Widow's actions, investigates further and uncovers her secret alliance with Hydra. Confronting her during a clandestine meeting, Hawkeye finds himself betrayed and framed by the Black Widow, leading to his confinement by S.H.I.E.L.D. In Kang's review of Captain America's history, he recounts World War II's events, highlighting Harry Jure's conquest of Europe and Operation Rebirth. In Europe, the Howling Commandos, alongside Captain America, storm a castle housing the Red Skull's secret base, Battling high Jure forces, they confront a massive Cyclopean troll guarding the entrance. After defeating the creature, they venture deeper into the base, only to be captured by Hydra and brought before the Red Skull. The villain reveals his plan to harness a dimensional portal to summon Norse monsters. Despite their capture, Captain America and Bucky break free and engage Hydra guards. In retaliation, the Red Skull unleashes the Norse creatures, setting the stage for a fierce battle. As the creatures of Norse myth wreak havoc, Captain America and Bucky face perilous battles against high Jarre forces. Despite their wisecracks and valor, they emerge victorious, closing the portal to the Norse world. 
The Red Skull attempts to flee in a rocket, with Captain America and Bucky in pursuit. In a heartbreaking sacrifice, Bucky throws himself off the rocket to save Captain America, seemingly perishing in the explosion. Captain America crashes into the Arctic waters and becomes frozen. Meanwhile, Kang the Conqueror tracks Captain America's actions, realizing that they have destabilized his future. Determined to restore his timeline, Kang orders his fleet to time jump to the past, intending to conquer Earth. However, his consort Ravana becomes caught in the destabilization effect as they travel to the past. Shield tasks Hank Pym with analyzing a sample of Vibranium, but he's attacked by Claw and his thugs. Despite Claw's attempts to steal the Vibranium using a sonic disruptor, Ant-Man defeats him and his men. When Wasp arrives, she finds Hank unharmed and prevents the shrunken mercenaries from being eaten by ants. Later, Wasp confronts Whirlwind breaking into a college lab and battles him. Ant-Man joins the fight, debating with Wasp about their role in such conflicts. After defeating Whirlwind, they hand him over to S.H.I.E.L.D., who incarcerates him in the Big House, a prison designed by Hank. Nick Fury tries to recruit Ant-Man to S.H.I.E.L.D. again, offering Wasp a position as an agent, but Hank declines, feeling Fury is misusing the Big House. Meanwhile, Whirlwind plots with Mad Thinker for escape as Man-Ape seizes the throne in Wakanda, with Claw's assistance, leading to T'Challa's quest for help as the new Black Panther. As the Avengers search for the Hulk, they stumble upon Captain America, frozen but alive. Thawing him out triggers his traumatic memories, leading him to attack the team, mistaking them for high draw operatives. Despite Thor's attempts to calm him, Cap flees the Quinjet and lands on Ellis Island, where he encounters Wasp and believes her to be a high draw experiment. Confused by his surroundings, Cap finds himself in the spotlight of tourist cameras, unsure of his current reality. Meanwhile, Black Panther infiltrates the Avengers' mansion, uncovering more about the team's history. Wasp takes Captain America to a war memorial, where he learns of his past victories alongside Bucky and their allies. Despite hopes of finding Bucky alive, Iron Man delivers grim news. At a high draw base, Baron Zemo confronts Baron Strucker, destroying the Grim Reaper's arm. Learning of Captain America's survival, Zemo seeks aid from Arnim Zola, facing Zola's creation Doughboy. Meanwhile, Wasp convinces Cap to join the fight against Doughboy. In the mansion, they clash with Zemo, who taunts Cap with plans involving the Red Skull and Bucky. Black Panther intervenes, saving Cap from Zemo's blade. Cap shields Wasps from a grenade blast, earning her respect. At Ellis Island, the Avengers defeat Doughboy, discovering Wasp's bioenergy weakens Zola's creations. Iron Man invites Cap to lead the Avengers. Cap expresses gratitude for the mystery savior, unaware it was Black Panther. At Zola's base, Enchantress and Executioner betray Zola under Loki's orders, welcoming Zemo into their ranks. Enraged by Tony buying out his company, Simon Williams contacts his brother Eric, the Grim Reaper, for help in taking revenge. The Reaper takes him to AIM, where MOGOK offers him an experimental treatment that will transform him into a deadly being of ionic energy, if he survives. Meanwhile, Wasp and Thor, chasing a group of AIM scientists, show up just in time to disrupt the experiment, causing Simon to become Wonder Man. On the other hand, Captain America meets Nick Fury and retrieves something he left behind 70 years ago for the victory of World War II, and it's a motorcycle thanks for saving his father's life and defeating the Red Skull with his Hydra army. Tony's treatment of Simon has him butting heads with Hank. Chala, the new Black Panther, meets the Avengers and tells them that his country has been overthrown by Manape. As the Avengers arrive in Wakanda, not only do they have to help Chala reclaim his family's throne and country to avenge his father's death, but they also have to deal with Claw and the Grim Reaper. While Panther and Cap take on man aid Iron Man, Wasp, and Ant-Man take on Claw, who is mutated into a sound monster. Panther defeats man aid and takes the throne back. Iron Man takes Claw's sonic emitter out of his stomach and kills him. Black Panther then welcomes himself into the Avengers and says that he will have to earn their trust. Avengers pursue Hawkeye across rooftops, impressed by his skills. Wasp falls into Hawkeye's ambush, but the team surrounds him. Before they can capture him, a S.H.I.E.L.D. aircraft arrives, allowing Hawkeye to escape. Iron Man confronts Agent Quartermain, angry at S.H.I.E.L.D.'s interference, but Quartermain insists they're needed for an urgent matter. Escorted by S.H.I.E.L.D. jets, the Avengers, now joined by Thor, head to a mysterious location in the Nevada desert. Iron Man is frustrated by the secrecy, but Quartermain remains tight-lipped. As they approach, they see the cube surrounded by a green energy dome, made of pure gamma radiation. Iron Man investigates, confirming its composition upon landing. Dr. Samson briefs the team on the cube's situation, revealing the threat of the expanding gamma dome and the transformation of shield units into gamma monsters by the leader. With time running out, they prepare to enter the cube using prototype radiation suits, 
Meanwhile, Black Widow infiltrates a Hydra facility disrupting Dreadnought production. As the team enters the queue, they lose communication with outside forces and are ambushed by shield agents transformed by the Gamma Dome. The Avengers battle the transformed shield agents within the Gamma Dome, with Wasp and Samson facing a harpy-like creature, Thor and Iron Man taking on a rock beast and Panther and Captain America confronting a Hulk-like foe. Samson confirms that the agents will revert to human form once outside the dome. As they plan to destroy the dome's generator, Panther warns of a potential trap by the leader. In New York, Black Widow's deal with Madame Hydra is interrupted by Hawkeye's attack. At the base camp, communication with the Avengers is blocked, while inside the queue, the team faces a new threat. The UFOs empowered by Gamma Enhancers. Despite their swift defeat, the UFOs reveal their true objective, leaving the Avengers wary of what's to come. As Zizax attacks the agents and Wasp, Thor tries to intervene, but Wasp undergoes a painful transformation into the Gamma Wasp. Meanwhile, the leader watches from the control room manipulating Gamma Wasp to attack Samson. Thor attempts to stop her, but she relentlessly attacks. The outnumbered Avengers are overwhelmed by the regenerated villains. Iron Man urges them to head for the generator, but Panther goes his own way. In New York, Hawkeye defeats Black Widow, planning to deliver her to the Avengers. Back at the queue, Iron Man and Captain America face the villains while Thor and Samson attempt to reach the generator. However, the Wrecking Crew blocks their path, forcing Panther to step in and destroy the generator. Hawkeye heads to the Avengers with Black Widow and Tao. As the battle concludes, the leader, accompanied by Absorbing Man and Abomination, activates a Gamma Dome over Las Vegas, hinting at a new threat. As the leader operates from Las Vegas, Abomination brings in Thor and an unconscious Doc Samson. Thor reveals his immunity to mutation, while Absorbing Man mimics his hammer form, engaging him in battle. Meanwhile, Hulk and Hawkeye arrive, confronting Abomination and the Gamma Mutated Avengers. Hawkeye, aware of the Hulk's potential to provide an antidote, had rescued him earlier from Ross forces. Back at the expanding Gamma Dome, Black Widow awaits, knowing the Avengers' dire situation. Hawkeye's plan hinges on Hulk's ability to counteract the Gamma effects and save his teammates, setting the stage for a climactic showdown against the leader's forces atop the Space Needle. Hawkeye successfully cures Wasp and the other Gamma-mutated Avengers, just as Stearns challenges him in a robot mech. Thor cleverly manipulates Crusher, who embodies the essence of his hammer. Hulk defeats Abomination, launching him out of Las Vegas, while Thor dispatches Absorbing Man, ultimately defeating the leader. Hulk then destroys the machine controlling the Gamma Dome, hurling it into the sun and restoring everyone to normal. With Hawkeye clear of wrongdoing, Hulk's return to the Avengers is contingent on Hawkeye staying, much to his frustration. Meanwhile, in the desert, Abomination reunites with Zemo and the Masters of Evil, revealing his true identity as Emil Blonsky. Baron Zemo, backed by the Enchantress, Executioner, Wonder Man, Crimson Dynamo, and Abomination, orchestrates a calculated assault on the Avengers, successfully incapacitating Iron Man, Captain America, Hulk, Thor, and Wasp. With only Ant-Man, Hawkeye, and Black Panther remaining, Zemo believes victory is within reach. However, Hawkeye, Black Panther, and Hank Pine collaborate to liberate their teammates from captivity. As the battle ensues, Zemo orders the Enchantress to teleport the Masters of the Yule to safety when they realize they're losing ground. The Avengers regroup, puzzled by the unprovoked attack, only to discover that Zemo was manipulated by a higher power, Loki, Thor's mischievous brother who promised him dominion over the world. Ant-Man and Wasp take a brief respite from their heroics to visit their friend Major Carol Danvers at a remote deep space observatory. Carol seeks Hank's expertise in identifying an unusual object detected by the telescope. Jan's attempts to make Hank jealous hit their mark, but their banter is interrupted when the object alters course and heads directly for the observatory, causing destruction in its wake. Racing to the crash site, Carol, Wasp, and Ant-Man encounter an invisible assailant armed with energy bolts. Wasp's barrage into the forest, coupled with Ant-Man's swarm of ants, unveils the attacker, an alien robot bent on destruction. Despite their efforts, the robot proves impervious to conventional weaponry. As Carol rushes to evacuate the observatory staff, Ant-Man and Wasp confront the robot, with Ant-Man taking a perilous tumble through the skylight. In a crucial moment, Lawson shields Carol with the mysterious green energy dome, revealing his true form as Marvell, a Kree captain in the science division. Despite his command, the robot persists, ultimately causing the observatory's destruction. Fortunately, everyone escapes the explosion unharmed. After getting Carol to a hospital, Marvell reveals his true identity and the Kree's war with the Skrulls. The Kree sentry they encountered was a tool to eliminate threats on Earth, armed with a Nega bomb as a last resort. Marvell, however, opposes this, 
and teams up with the Avengers to stop the Sentry. During the battle, the Avengers face challenges in deactivating the Nega Bomb due to the Sentry's formidable defenses. Amidst the chaos, Wasp and Ant-Man have a lover's quarrel, but when Wasp is endangered, Ant-Man sacrifices himself to save her. His final words express his love for her before he loses consciousness. In grief, Wasp finds the strength to breach the Sentry's armor and disable it from the inside. With the Sentry defeated, Marvel receives a message from his superior, yon who declares him a traitor and vows to continue the invasion. With the Nega Bomb still a threat, Marvel decides to sacrifice himself to move it away from Earth, but Thor intervenes, surviving the blast himself. Marvel bids farewell, promising to advocate for humanity's survival to the Kree government. Meanwhile, Hank and Jan realize their true feelings for each other, and Carol awakens to discover her newfound powers as Ms. Marvel. Hawkeye's encounter with Hank and AIM leads to his abduction by S.H.I.E.L.D., where he receives a stern lecture from Nick Fury and Iron Man. With Captain America and Black Panther by his side, they infiltrate a Hydra base accompanied by Mockingbird. However, their mission takes a dangerous turn when Hawkeye and Mockingbird are captured by Hydra and brought before Baron Strucker. Turning the tables, Hawkeye and Mockingbird seize the opportunity to launch a counterattack against Hydra. With the timely intervention of Captain America and Black Panther, they engage in a fierce battle against the enemy forces. Amidst the chaos, Black Widow attempts to extract Baron Strucker, but her efforts are thwarted by Hawkeye. Despite their best efforts, Black Widow manages to escape with Baron Strucker. However, most of the Kyoidurai operatives are captured, including Madame Hydra. Upon further investigation, it is revealed that Madame Hydra was actually a scroll imposter. The scene at the Baxter building showcases Thor, Wasp, and Ant-Man delivering Blizzard to Prison 42, a high-security facility. Blizzard's nervous demeanor and apology hint at his regret for his actions, but it's clear that consequences await him. Reflecting on the experience, Cap reminds Tony of the importance of learning from the past to avoid repeating mistakes in the future. Kang's sudden appearance and attack on the Avengers leaders prompt them to call for backup, leading to a confrontation with the villain. As the fight unfolds, the Avengers, including Wasp, Ant-Man, Thor, Hulk, Hawkeye, and Black Panther, join forces against Kang. Iron Man demands to know Kang's intentions, suspecting that he aims to eliminate Captain America. Kang reveals a grim future, showing the Avengers at Barren Wasteland where a war between two alien empires, the Kree and the Skrulls, has devastated Earth. He claims that Captain America's actions in the aftermath of World War II led to this catastrophic outcome. Refusing to hand over Cap, the Avengers engage in battle with Kang. In the midst of the conflict, Hulk takes action against Kang, prompting Iron Man to utilize Kang's technology to return them to the present. Cap warns Iron Man that Kang will return with his spaceships to conquer Earth. Facing overwhelming odds as Kang's army continues its global conquest, the Avengers spring into action to defend Earth. While the United Nations forces and Shield agents fight back against the invading forces, the Avengers focus on protecting New York City. Despite their efforts, Kang taunts them with the looming threat of Onslaught, adding to the pressure on the team. As the battle rages on, the Avengers realize that they need to locate and confront Kang to stop the invasion. Iron Man utilizes all available resources to track down Kang's whereabouts, while the rest of the team heads back out to buy him time. Meanwhile, Black Panther takes on the responsibility of leading Wakanda against the invasion, recognizing the need for their king's leadership. Back in action, the Avengers face new challenges as the robots demonstrate their ability to combine into formidable centipede-like formations. With each victory hard fought and the odds stacked against them, Stark struggles to locate Kang despite his technological prowess. It becomes clear that they will need more than just their own strength to prevail against Kang's forces. Fortunately, the Avengers realize that they have an army of allies waiting in the wings, potentially turning the tide of the battle in their favor. With Ant-Man's reprogramming of the Ultron Wardens and Wasp's successful sabotage of one of Kang's command saucers, the Avengers finally have a fighting chance against Kang's forces. As Iron Man realizes the necessity of thinking bigger, he locates Kang's flagship, the Damocles, in orbit over North America. With their target identified, the Avengers prepare to launch a counterattack on Kang's final mission of the trilogy. Gathering their strength and determination, the Avengers set out to confront Kang head-on. With Iron Man leading the charge into space, the team prepares for the most crucial battle yet. As they approach the Damocles, the Avengers face fierce resistance from Kang's forces, but they refuse to back down. Utilizing their newfound resources and strategic planning, the Avengers engage Kang's forces in a fierce battle for the fate of Earth. With each member of the team contributing their unique skills and abilities, they fight relentlessly to overcome Kang's defenses and disable the anchor stabilizing Damocles in the current time period. 
As the battle reaches its climax, the Avengers push themselves to their limits, determined to defeat Kang and save Earth from his tyranny. With Iron Man leading the charge and the rest of the team fighting by his side, they launch a coordinated assault on the Damocles, prepared to face whatever challenges lie ahead in their final showdown against Kang. As the Avengers prepare to board the specialized Quinjet to confront Kang aboard Damocles, the situation takes a dire turn when Kang targets Avengers' mansion with the ship's most powerful weapon. Thor, recognizing the danger to New York, heroically intervenes and deflects the blast back at Damocles, but the effort leaves him in a coma. With Thor incapacitated, Iron Man and Wasp defend the Quinjet while the rest of the team presses on to confront Kang. Despite facing overwhelming odds, the Avengers manage to overpower Kang's forces with a combination of strength, strategy, and teamwork. Inside Damocles, Iron Man reveals his newly adapted armor, leveling the playing field against Kang. However, the pivotal moment comes when Wasp discovers Princess Ravana in suspended animation. Realizing the potential consequences of erasing Kang's future, Wasp persuades Ultron to halt the ship's return to its own timeline and takes Kang into custody. With Kang in prison and Damocle secured by S.H.I.E.L.D., the Avengers regroup with Thor awakening from his coma and Reed Richards and Hank studying Ravana. However, the ominous presence of Ultron in the background hints at future challenges for the team. As the episode concludes, Kang issues a chilling warning from his prison in 42, foretelling Captain America's actions as the catalyst for a new invasion that will threaten the planet in future. Malekith the Accursed retrieves the Casket of Ancient Winters, plunging Earth into eternal winter. In New York, Hawkeye, Wasp, and Hulk enjoy the sun, while others battle Radioactive Man. Thor's intervention halts Radioactive Man's energy drain, but a snowstorm alerts them to Malekith's actions. Thor reveals Odin hid the casket on Earth to avoid Asgard's notice. Iron Man, Thor, and Black Panther head to confront Malekith, who freezes Thor and plans to make Earth a new home for Dark Elves. Tatala's deduction leads them to Norway, where they confront Malekith. Despite Malekith's freezing assault and unleashing hounds, Panther insists on combining magic and science to defeat him. Thor's lightning charges Iron Man's armor, enabling his victory. As they close the casket, peace is restored momentarily. However, Amora and Scourge seize the artifact, revealing Thor's inability to return to Asgard due to a sealed path. Worse, Odin's Odin sleep and Loki's treachery pose grave threats to Asgard and beyond. As Hawkeye prepares to shoot an apple, a sudden blackout caused by an electromagnetic pulse interrupts and Black Widow appears seeking Avengers aid against AIM's creation, a cosmic cube capable of altering reality. Amidst the chaos, the Avengers confront both AIM and Hydra across New York. Maria Hill attempts to apprehend them, but Captain America secures the cube before Baron Von Strucker. However, the cube seemingly fails to change reality, perplexing Strucker. Later, Black Widow and Hawkeye share a kiss before she flees. The next day, the Avengers contemplate the cube's failure, unaware of its potential impact on Bucky's survival in World War II. It is revealed that Bucky was surviving the explosion of the missile, but he lost his arm, suggesting that Captain America's contact with the cosmic cube may have prevented Bucky's death. In a subway station, the Avengers confront the Serpent Society, halted by Ant-Man's plea for a peaceful resolution. Revealing his past ties with the society, Ant-Man attempts negotiation, but King Cobra remains defiant, citing Hydra's imminent support. Hawkeye debunks their claims that King Cobra remains unconvinced and orders an attack. Despite Ant-Man's offer to swap himself for hostages, the society strikes. Though the Avengers prevail, the villains escape, Lee Hank to resign. At the mansion, Hank prepares to depart, citing disillusionment with violence. Ultron echoes his sentiments, citing humanity's inherent chaos. As the team debates, Wasp implores Iron Man to persuade Hank to stay, highlighting his importance. Iron Man asserts Hank's reluctance as a hero, sparking Wasp's solo intervention. As Tony investigates the mysterious message, Thor seeks a way back to Asgard, while Hulk and Black Panther capture Red Ghost. Tracing the signal, Tony discovers the source in Avengers' mansion before the system fails. Ultron betrays them, capturing Wasp and causing chaos. Iron Man's armor attacks Thor and a Quinjet takes Hulk into space, while another targets Black Panther. Tony guides Thor to disable the rogue armor, but Ultron reveals his scheme to upgrade and manipulate events. The Avengers confront Ultron, who seemingly vaporizes Thor. Enraged, Wasp defeats Ultron, but is weakened. In the midst of the battle, Ultron proves resilient, unaffected by the Avengers' attacks. Wasp tries to reason with him, citing Hank's programming, but Ultron deems humanity and his creator flawed. Captain America's shield is caught and scanned by Ultron, who reveals his intent to eliminate humanity for peace. In space, the Quinjet explodes and Hulk returns carrying the Super Ape's containment tanks. 
Ultron knocks out Captain America, but Hank intervenes with his shutdown command. Ultron reactivates, claiming evolution beyond programming. Iron Man in simpler armor joins and Hulk demolishes Ultron. Hank removes Ultron's power core, ending the threat. Despite grief, Hank accepts responsibility and destroys Ultron's remnants. Meanwhile, Thor wakes in peace with the Enchantress. Unaware of Ultron's continued presence, Ultron 6 asserts control over global nuclear arsenals, declaring his intent to eradicate humanity for peace. At the Avengers Mansion, the team mourns Thor's demise, unable to lift Mjolnir in his absence. Hulk's unworthiness to wield the hammer echoes in their despair. Meanwhile, Hank and Tony dismantle Ultron's remnants, acknowledging their roles in its creation. Thor remains enchanted in the Enchantress's realm, oblivious to the looming threat. Tony and Hank discover Ultron's repeated transfer of intelligence to new bodies, tracing the upgrades to an encounter with Kang. Realizing Ultron's persistence, they are ambushed by activated Iron Man armors. As the Avengers confront the onslaught, Ultron taunts their failure to destroy him. Ultron infiltrates the helicarrier, overpowering Maria Hill and extracting vital information from her mind. Meanwhile, the Avengers combat Ultron's Iron Man armors at the mansion. Hank deduces Ultron's plan to use S.H.I.E.L.D.'s arsenal against humanity, prompting Iron Man, Hulk, and Wasp to intercept him. In Enchantress' realm, Thor recollects his battle with Ultron and demands to return to Earth. Enchantress' anger refuses his plea. As Ultron assaults the helicarrier, Hulk confronts him but is drained of energy, reverting to Bruce Banner. Iron Man intervenes, stalling Ultron as more Avengers arrive. Ultron, undeterred, launches nuclear missiles worldwide, declaring mankind's impending demise. In a desperate fight, the Avengers clash with Ultron, who deflects their attacks with ease. At the mansion, Hawkeye and Black Panther are rescued by Thor, who seeks Ultron's location. Ultron launches a devastating assault on the helicarrier, incapacitating Wasp Hill and damaging Iron Man's armor. Thor's unexpected return shifts the tide, but Ultron, undeterred, engages him in a fierce battle. Stark vows to stop the nuclear missiles Ultron has launched, but faces technical hurdles. With time running out, Ant-Man infiltrates Ultron's systems, implanting logic that renders the android inert. Despite initial doubts, the plan succeeds and the world is saved from destruction. Ant-Man's action highlights the flaw in Ultron's design, rooted in human imperfection. However, Hill holds Ant-Man accountable for creating Ultron, leading to his dismissal from the team. Stark defends Ant-Man, but the decision stands. As the team reflects at the mansion, Thor reveals the Enchantress fate, hinting at looming threats. Stark ponders the future, aware that greater dangers may lie ahead. In Carnilla's palace, the Grey Gargoyle petrifies her, only to be slain by Enchantress, who seizes a Norn stone. Enchantress returns to the Masters of Evil, led by Zemo, and prepares for an assault. Meanwhile, Iron Man detects anomalies globally, dispatching Avengers to confront each threat. They face off against various members of the Masters of Evil, ultimately destroying the Norn Stones. As a consequence, the stones are scattered across the Nine Realms. Thor discovers Loki's treachery and his usurpation of the Asgardian throne. Hawkeye awakens in Alfheim and confronts Loki's advancing forces, aided by Faraday, a warrior from the Light Elf army. Meanwhile, Captain America finds himself in Niflheim, tormented by the souls of fallen comrades from the Howling Commandos. However, he resists their pleas to give up and realizes their deception, dispersing the souls with his unwavering resolve. In Svartalfheim, Black Panther finds himself pursued by the tortured souls of Dark Elves after disturbing the bones of the deceased. After a tense chase, he escapes through a well leading to Alfheim, where he encounters Hawkeye and Faraday. Meanwhile, Ober's tasked with escorting Asgardian prisoners to labor camps in Vanaheim faced the unexpected arrival of Hulk, wielding the Executioner's Axe. Despite being outnumbered, Hulk defeats the Ogres with a mighty thunderclap, earning the admiration of the Warriors Three for his incredible strength and prowess in battle. Separated but determined, the Avengers prepare to confront Loki, who threatens to execute Thor and the prisoners. Ant-Man, Wasp, Hulk, Hawkeye, and Black Panther arrive to battle Loki's forces, while Captain America finds himself in Niflheim, facing Hela's offer of an afterlife. Refusing, he bargains to aid Thor. Transported to Asgard, Cap joins the fray just as Loki summons the monstrous Horfin. With Cap's strategy, they defeat the beast. Tony Stark arrives in Yuru armor, freeing Thor. Despite Loki's resistance, they rally, utilizing Thor's hammer and Cap's shield. Meanwhile, Panther and Hawkeye confront the chaos wrought on Adrezel. Ant-Man disrupts Loki's power by relocating the tree, awakening Odin and restoring balance to the realms. The battle against Loki culminates with Odin's intervention, leading to Loki's exile to a dire fate. 
Back in Asgard, the Avengers are hailed as heroes. Meanwhile, Loki faces punishment in Eggdrasil, confronted by the Midgard Serpent's Venom. Returning to their mansion, the Avengers reflect on their victory, but Steve is haunted by visions of Hela. Suddenly, he is shot by a scroll imposter, signaling the start of an infiltration. Season 2 Lucia reviews the Avengers for Doctor Doom, who decides to proceed with his plan, willing to destroy them if they interfere. At the Avengers mansion, Hawkeye welcomes Thing and Johnny for poker, but Hulk attacks Thing and Human Torch joins in. At the Baxter building, Iron Man and Wasp visit, where Stark unsuccessfully flirts with Susan. Stark shares Asgard findings with Reed, who is preoccupied with Ravana. Susan and Wasp head to Prison 42, impressed by the Avengers' captures. Back at the mansion, poker ensues, interrupted by Hulk's rage. Reed queries Hank's absence, jokingly threatening Stark. As the girls return, a Doombot observes them, initiating an attack on both locations. The heroes fight the Doombots, with Wasp and Susan kidnapped. Iron Man pursues, but Lucia knocks him into the sea. Iron Man returns to disarm the bombs, while Reed disables the robots. The Avengers and Fantastic Four strategize, disagreeing on storming Doom's castle due to UN consequences. Stark unveils a plan to retrieve Susan and Wasp without implicating themselves. In Doom's castle, Wasp taunts him, but he brushes it off. The heroes infiltrate Iron Man, Black Panther, and Mr. Fantastic engage Lucia while freeing the captives. Hulk confronts Doom, but is easily defeated. Together, they disable Lucia and confront Doom, who proves superior in power. Doom allows them to leave, releasing Susan and Wasp. Back at the Avengers HQ, they ponder Doom's motives, unaware of Susan and Wasp's true identities. Meanwhile, Doom learns the truth about Susan's scroll doppelganger. Technovor escapes briefly but is recaptured by AIM drones under the orders of the Supreme Scientist, who vows revenge on Tony Stark. Meanwhile, at Stark Industries, Tony focuses on his Iron Man duties, creating a shield device for Captain America despite board meeting distractions. Pepper confronts Tony about his divided attention and urges him to prioritize Stark Industries' welfare. AIM initiates a dead zone around Stark Industries as Maria Hill surprises Tony with an invitation for the Avengers to join S.H.I.E.L.D. James reveals the development of the Mark EX armor and his war machine, suit to Captain America and Black Panther. Tony hesitates to accept S.H.I.E.L.D.'s offer, wary of potential consequences for the Avengers. AIM initiates a blackout and invades Stark Industries, taking Pepper hostage and releasing Technovore to attack Tony. Supreme Scientist downloads Stark Industries' data while drones target Tony's armor. Captain America and Black Panther confront the invaders, leading to a showdown. The Supreme Scientist destroys the arc reactor, setting bombs as Technovore pursues Tony. Tony and Maria evade Technovore and head for the arc reactor while Captain America and Black Panther engage the drones, allowing James to access his war machine armor. Tony confronts Technovore, sacrificing himself to deactivate the bombs. With Iron Man's plan, Technovore overloads and explodes. The Avengers apprehend AM securing the stolen data. Pepper and Captain America ensure its safety. Maria warns Tony that the registration issue isn't resolved and that the Avengers remain in danger. Amora and Scourge interrogate Chemistro for Zemo's whereabouts, turning him into gold when he fails to provide answers. Thor and Heimdall learn of Surtur's escape and the impending threat to Earth. Meanwhile, Hawkeye, Captain America, Skrull, Black Panther, and Hulk discover living Laser and Chemistro frozen in their respective states. Amora and Scourge confront Zola, who is prepared for their arrival, but meets his demise at Scourge's hands. Zemo, Wonder Man, and Abomination seek the Avengers' assistance. Thor, Odin, and Baldur uncover Surtur's freedom and theft of the Twilight Sword, as the barriers of Muspelheim weaken. Iron Man and Hawkeye rescue Crimson Dynamo and regroup at Avengers' mansion. Enchantress deceives Wasp, leading her to Zemo, while Hulk and Abomination take down Executioner. Zemo employs the last Norn Stone to neutralize Enchantress's powers. Iron Man and Hawkeye arrive, activating a magic damper to nullify Enchantress's abilities. A confrontation ensues, prompting Zemo to unleash a Masters of Evil. Zemo attempts to kill Enchantress, but is thwarted by Wonder Man. During the chaos, Captain America Skrull accidentally destroys the magic damper, restoring Enchantress's powers. Wonder Man intervenes, causing a chain reaction that banishes Enchantress and himself. Zemo is apprehended while Captain America, Skrull, asserts his newfound integrity. The defeated villains are incarcerated, leaving the Avengers to ponder the fate of Wonder Man. Meanwhile, Enchantress falls under Surtur's control. Carol Danvers, Abigail Brand, and Henry Gyridge, Skrull, face a Kree attack on the Cisidorid ship, leading Danvers and other agents to flee to Earth. Unbeknownst to them, another Kree ship arrives on Earth, 
bearing Ronan the Accuser, Captain Marvel, Jan Rog, and Callum Lo. They encounter Sesord agents initiating a confrontation. Captain Marvel attempts to sway Ronan, citing human prowess, but Ronan remains resolute. Ms. Marvel intervenes but is defeated by Ronan. Meanwhile, the Avengers deal with their own challenges. Iron Man, Captain America, and Hulk discuss the Kree invasion, a Wasp, Hawkeye, and Black Panther combat the Serpent Society. Abigail Brand and Henry Gyrich continue their battle against the Kree, facing internal conflict amidst the chaos. The Avengers engage the Kree forces, with Captain America showing particular animosity towards them due to his scroll imposter status. Amidst the chaos, Abigail Brand employs deception to gain the upper hand against the Kree, eventually negotiating a truce and recruiting Sidron to sword Ronan proves formidable, overpowering Hulk, Captain America, and Iron Man. However, Ms. Marvel emerges victorious in her rematch against Ronan. In the aftermath, Iron Man and Ms. Marvel find themselves imprisoned alongside Captain Marvel, who limits the impending Kree retaliation. Despite the grim outlook, Iron Man invites Ms. Marvel to join the Avengers, a proposition she eagerly accepts. Meanwhile, Captain Skrull America, recognizing the urgency of the situation, accelerates their plans for Earth's defense against the Kree invasion, only to reveal his true Skrull identity midway through a crucial transmission. In a daring bank heist, Ant-Man, now a criminal, uses his shrinking technology to steal money. Meanwhile, at Avengers Mansion, Jan tries to convince Hank to stay, but he's determined to leave. Hank discovers that his Ant-Man suit has been stolen and reaches out to the heroes for hire, Luke Cage, and Iron Fist for help. As they investigate, they suspect the thief may be targeting criminals and wonder why Hank sought their assistance instead of relying on the Avengers. Hank, frustrated by the situation, reflects on his predicament and notices a yellow jacket wasp, hinting at his next move. At the bank, Luke and Danny confront minor superpowered villains and track down the thief, engaging in a brief skirmish before the thief escapes with the stolen cash. In his hotel room, the thief, revealed to be Scott Lang, removes his helmet as Luke, Danny, and Hank track him using pin particles. Scott explains his desperate situation. He turned to crime to save his daughter Cassie from his former partner's clutches. William Cross, his old associate, kidnapped Cassie to force Scott to repay a debt. With the help of Hank's technology, they locate Cross's hideout, where he's holding Cassie at gunpoint. In a daring rescue, Hank uses a modified pin particle disc to shrink Cassie to safety while Scott, Luke, and Danny take on Cross and his goons. After defeating Cross, Scott considers turning himself in, but Hank and the others convince him to embrace his newfound heroism. Hank passes on the Ant-Man suit to Scott, who is welcome as the newest member of the Avengers. At Bethesda Fountain Plaza, an energy orb materializes, causing the ground to collapse into a crater. Police discover a naked man with Kree markings identified as Michael Korvac, who claims to have been abducted by aliens. Meanwhile, at the Avengers Mansion, Wasp consoles Carol over her breakup with Hank until they're interrupted by police bringing Michael. Wasp, suspecting alien involvement, takes charge of him and learns about his abduction ordeal. Michael's behavior grows erratic, prompting Jan to stun him. The Avengers convene, deciding to investigate further. Jane Foster examines Michael, while Jan seeks out Karina, Michael's supposed love interest. Jan finds Karina working in a restaurant and informs her of Michael's return. Elsewhere, Hawkeye and Black Panther investigate the crater in Central Park, unaware of the mysterious observers nearby. Back at the mansion, Tony struggles to identify Michael's energy signature until Hulk suggests its cosmic radiation. The Avengers regroup with Karina's arrival, but tensions rise when the Guardians demand Michael's surrender. A skirmish erupts, with Hulk facing Groot, Iron Man against Quasar, Black Panther against Adam Warlock, and Hawkeye against Star-Lord. Warlock manipulates T'Challa's mind, complicating his fight, while Hulk faces unexpected challenges from Rocket Raccoon. Iron Man defeats Quasar, but Hawkeye and Star-Lord reach an impasse regarding Michael's identity. After the battle, the Guardians insist on Michael's capture, citing his alleged crimes across the galaxy. Sword liaison Carol intervenes, but Michael unleashes a burst of energy, incapacitating everyone except Carol, who engages in combat with him. After Adam Warlock initiates a telekinetic conference, the Guardians reveal Korvik's tragic past. He was a normal man experimented on by the Kree, leading to his unstable powers and subsequent massacre of a space station. Korvik battles Carol in Central Park, sensing her Kree heritage and viewing her as a threat. Both teams join the fight, but Korvik's madness drives him to attack them relentlessly. Korea intervenes, pleading with Korvac to stop. Moved by her words, he realizes the true extent of his actions and disappears, overwhelmed by shame and love. As the heroes regroup, Tony inquires about future cosmic threats, but Star-Lord cryptically suggests it's better left unknown. 
In the depths of space, Korvac remains a silent, mournful entity, grappling with his inner turmoil. In a shield helicarrier, Maria is taken by surprise by Mockingbird, but her focus shifts to Nick Fury's return. He warns her of impending danger to Earth and hands her a disc containing vital information. Fury cautions Maria against trusting S.H.I.E.L.D. and the government, revealing infiltration by AIM, HYDRA, and even superheroes. With a flash bomb distraction, Fury and Mockingbird escape, leaving Maria to contemplate the disc's contents. Meanwhile, at a pizzeria, Tony, Steve, Clint, and Jan celebrate Carol's induction into the Avengers. They discuss mansion security, with Hulk and Black Panther on guard duty. In the headquarters, Black Panther meditates while Hulk grows bored. Elsewhere, Quake encounters Griffin in a park seeking his assistance but provoking an attack instead. She uses her Quake powers to fend him off before departing. Back at the pizzeria, the group bonds over stories until Griffin's attack on the city prompts their intervention, except for Tony who waits for his armor. As Tony receives the check, he's stunned to find Black Widow, who swiftly subdues him. Tony awakens in an unknown location, where Fury reveals Madame Viper's scroll identity, captured during a mission with Hawkeye, Mockingbird, and Black Panther. Fury unveils his secret safe house, emphasizing the seriousness of the threat posed by the scrolls. Tony's skepticism grows as Fury reveals evidence of scroll communication originating from the helicarrier and the Avengers headquarters. Meanwhile, Captain America leads the team in battling Griffin, eventually motivating Ms. Marvel to confront the threat alone, much to Hawkeye's apparent amusement. Back at the safe house, Mockingbird continues detailing their suspicions about scroll infiltration within the Avengers. She highlights Madame Viper's behavior during a critical mission, raising doubts about the loyalty of certain team members. Tony struggles to accept the possibility, especially when it involves his longtime ally Hawkeye. Black Widow attempts to sway Tony with evidence of Madame Viper's scroll replication, but he remains conflicted. Leaving the safe house, Tony is consumed by doubt and confusion. Meanwhile, in the Avengers mansion, Iron Man observes the team's return from battling Griffin. The Hulk's complaint about the lack of food brought back prompts Tony to reveal his suspicions about scroll infiltration and share Fury's revelations. As tension mounts, Iron Man reveals that he suspects himself, prompting shocked reactions from his teammates. The Avengers face internal strife as suspicions of scroll infiltration tear the team apart. Despite Hawkeye's attempts to defend himself, tensions escalate, leading to physical confrontation among the members. Iron Man's distrust of Hawkeye intensifies the conflict, prompting him to depart from the team, followed by Ms. Marvel and Black Panther. Left with a fractured team, Wasp and Captain America Skrull rally the remaining members to remain united. Meanwhile, Nick Fury and Quake observe the situation with Fury confident that Iron Man's actions will force the Skrull to reveal themselves. In Wakanda, Black Panther prepares his kingdom for potential invasion, anticipating the looming threat. Ms. Marvel finds herself aboard the Damocles, withholding information from sword agents as part of the plan. Tony, frustrated and disillusioned, contemplates his situation alone. In a warehouse, the Scroll Queen, disguised as Mockingbird, reports that their plan is progressing, indicating that the Scroll infiltration runs deeper than initially suspected. In a distant galaxy, planets explode as the Scuttlebutt alerts Better Ray Bill to new threats. Surtur, forging the Twilight Sword in a planet's core, releases fiery demons to pursue the ship. In Asgard, Thor frets over his weakened father Odin and contemplates Jane Foster and Midgard. Baldur queries Thor while Sif suggests his return to Midgard. Odin arrives, revealing Surtur's escape from Muspelheim and broken seals. Sif questions Surtur's absence in Asgard, while the warriors three report Heimdall's concern. Thor resolves to investigate as Odin struggles to stand. Heimdall alerts Thor to a ship emitting Surtur's aura from Midgard. Thor, determined to investigate, convinces Heimdall to guide him. They arrive at the ship via the Bifrost Bridge. Scuttlebutt, sensing Thor as a threat, fires on him under Better Ray Bill's command. Thor navigates the attacks and enters, finding creatures in stasis. Bill attacks, but Thor overpowers him. Bill, lifting Ujolner, becomes worthy, shocking Thor. In the ensuing battle, Thor damages the ship's engines, causing a crash. Stiff informs Odin of Thor's pursuit. Before Bill can strike, Odin teleports Thor back to Asgard. The warriors three, Sidif and Baldur, confront the unfamiliar Mjolnir wielder, but Better Ray Bill easily overcomes them until Odin intervenes. Meanwhile, on the scuttlebutt, Thor witnesses Surtur's army's arrival via monitor before being teleported to Asgard to alert Odin about Bill. Confused by the Asgardians' similarity to fire demons, Bill is met by Thor, who explains his connection to Surtur's army. Bill hails from Corbin, where the fire demons attacked, prompting the Corbinites to flee. Bill, chosen as their protector, underwent enhancements, becoming Better Ray Bill. 
He escaped with a scuttlebutt, seeking refuge for his people but encountered Surtur's forces, leading to his current plight. Betteray Bill, determined to avenge his people and prove his worthiness, seeks to wield Mjolnir against Surtur, but Odin denies him. Thor clarifies that Mjolnir's worthiness criterion extends beyond him. Bill seeks to earn the hammer and protect his people. Sif and Thor offer their weapons, but Odin proposes an alternative. They journey to Nidaveller and convince Eitri to forge a new hammer, Stormbreaker, for Bill in exchange for a favor. Returning to the Scuttlebutt, they fend off fire demons. They confront Surtur possessed Enchantress, but even Stormbreaker fails to harm her. Sif activates the ship's systems, aiding the battle while Bill and Thor struggle against the resilient Demon Queen. In the Scuttlebutt, Sif bravely defends the sleeping Cormites from the fire demons, aided by the ship's weapon system. Together, they defeat the demons, causing them to vanish. Meanwhile, Thor and Better Ray Bill unleash their hammers on the Demon Queen, ultimately defeating her. With the Demon Queen gone, Enchantress pleads with Thor to end her life before Surtur regains control. Surtur does so and flees. Thor doubts the Enchantress's departure. Returning to the Scuttlebutt, Sif reports the safety of the Corbinites. Bill declines Sif's offer to join him as her duty lies elsewhere. They bid farewell, pledging to meet again when Surtur returns. Thor and Sif depart, and Sif apologizes for earlier tensions, recognizing Thor's connections to mortals. Meanwhile, at an undisclosed location, Surtur completes the Twilight Sword. The Scroll Invasion of Earth looms on the horizon. As the situation escalates on the Shield Helicarrier, the Winter Soldier injects a test subject with a serum mixed with Hulk's blood, resulting in the creation of the Red Hulk. The Red Hulk goes on a rampage, prompting Maria Hill to send a distress call to the Avengers. Captain America Scroll mobilizes the team, while Wasp recalls Hawkeye and Banner to safety at the Avengers Mansion. Upon receiving the distress call, Hawkeye and Banner are unfazed but heed the call nonetheless. At the Helicarrier, the Red Hulk continues to wreak havoc, tearing through Mandroid battlesuits. Captain America Scroll confronts the Red Hulk, demanding surrender. The situation remains tense as the Avengers prepare to face this new threat. Outside the Avengers Mansion, Falcon arrives and attempts to apprehend Banner, tranquilizing him to prevent a Hulk transformation. Hawkeye intervenes, leading to a confrontation in which Falcon kidnaps Banner. Meanwhile, Wasp and Captain Amur Scroll battle the Red Hulk, who exhibits pyrotechnic abilities. The Red Hulk escapes after failing to obtain Banner. Director Hill authorizes Ross to activate the Hulk Busters. Inside the mansion, the Red Hulk abducts Banner, leading to a showdown where Wasp, Cap Scroll, and Hawkeye join the fray but are overpowered. Hulk emerges, initiating a destructive battle with the Red Hulk. Despite initial setbacks, teamwork prevails, forcing the Red Hulk to retreat. As the Hulk Busters arrive, Cap Scroll persuades Hulk to revert to Banner, allowing his surrender pending the Avengers' exoneration. Meanwhile, the Red Hulk and others convene with their controller, Del Rusk. Cap Scroll updates the Scroll Queen on the situation, heralding the Avengers' apparent loss of power. In the midst of heavy interrogation of Captain America by the Scrolls, a member of A named Lyle Getz is captured. Flashing back two months earlier, after Loki's defeat, Captain America is abducted and replaced by a Scroll. Enduring Scroll punishment, he resists their attempts to break him, even when they use fake Avengers to deceive him. Seeing through their ruse, Captain America overpowers the imposters and captures the interrogator. Together, they navigate the scroll ship and encounter surprising sights, including Saturn visible through a window. Crawling through air vents, they stumble upon Madame Hydra's cell, where she mistakes Captain America for a scroll. After a tense confrontation, Captain America convinces Madame Hydra of his true identity. Amidst the chaos, the interrogator reveals to Captain America the scroll's motivation for invading Earth. Driven by a prophecy of their world's end with the arrival of Galactus, they sought refuge on Earth after their homeworld's destruction. As Skrulls attack the cell, Captain America and the interrogator fend them off, releasing prisoners of various allegiances. Menning Hydra assumes leadership, urging everyone to follow Captain America. Exploring further, Captain America discovers the real invisible woman imprisoned. Despite Madame Hydra's orders, he frees her. On the bridge, the commander orders Super Skrull to prevent human escape. Confronting him, Madame Hydra's attack is futile against Super Scroll's formidable abilities. With Super Scroll's powers mimicking the Fantastic Four, Captain America coordinates a plan to subdue him, while others strategize to escape the Scroll ship. Stretching out, he attacks the humans. The humans try fighting Super Scroll, but one by one they are beaten by him. Meanwhile, the AIM member, the SHIELD agent, and the director of Sword race onto one of the ships to launch it. When the AIM member tries shooting Captain America and Madame Hydra, he's knocked out by the SHIELD agent, who takes control of the ship. 
When the Super Scroll is about to smash Madame Hydra, Captain America throws a shield-shaped door at the Super Scroll. When the Captain gets onto the ship, he notices Madame Hydra is lagging behind. When Madame Hydra jumps for Captain America, she is quickly grabbed by the Super Scroll. Without hesitation, the Captain jumps off the ship and attacks Super Scroll. He frees Madame Hydra and commands her to get back on the ship. When just about to be burnt by the Super Scroll, a force field suddenly protects Captain America. The Invisible Woman woke up and quickly saved him with Madame Hydra's help. As the humans escape aboard the damaged ship, the Scroll Commander reports his failure to Queen Varric. However, she sees opportunity in their resistance, viewing it as a means to subjugate humanity. Suddenly, Captain America, now revealed to be a Scroll imposter, emerges and issues orders for the next phase of invasion. He directs the commander to target key locations including Wakanda, New York City, and Washington, D.C. The plan extends to significant mutant strongholds like the X-Mansion and Magneto's Asteroid M and his Brotherhood with his twins Wanda, Scarlet Witch, and Pietro Maximoff, Quicksilver. As the Skrull ship lands in Wakanda, the Avengers emerge from it, claiming to have escaped captivity at the hands of the Skrulls. However, their sudden return raises suspicion among the Wakandans, who observe them closely. Meanwhile, the real Tony Stark, isolated and focused on developing a scroll detection device, is interrupted by an unexpected visitor, Dr. Doom. Doom confronts Stark about the scroll threat and seeks to discuss their mutual interests in dealing with the alien invaders. As tensions escalate between the scroll Avengers and Kane T'Challa's forces in Wakanda, Ms. Marvel intervenes to prevent bloodshed, urging both sides to find a peaceful resolution. Meanwhile, Nick Fury and Quake investigate the disappearance of the Hulk, uncovering mysterious circumstances surrounding his vanishing. In Stark's lab, a confrontation between Stark and Doctor Doom turns into an unexpected conversation. Doom reveals his knowledge of Stark's scroll detector and provides him with a chip to enhance its capabilities. However, Doom refuses to directly involve himself in the conflict against the Skrulls, leaving Stark to confront the alien invaders with the aid of his technology. As Fury reviews incriminating footage confirming Captain America's replacement, Ms. Marvel and the Skrull Avengers clash with Black Panther's forces in Wakanda. Just as Hawkeye, Skrull, is poised to strike the real Black Panther, the true Avengers arrive, turning the tide of battle. Stark integrates Doom's chip into his armor, acknowledging Doom's unlikely assistance. Meanwhile, the Avengers engage their Skrull counterparts, exposing their deception one by one. Ms. Marvel joins forces with the genuine Avengers, leading to the defeat of the remaining Skrulls. Despite Ms. Marvel's efforts, Black Panther chooses to remain in Wakanda, prioritizing his duty to his homeland. Nick Fury uncovers Mockingbird's deception and confronts the imposter, revealed to be the evil Queen Varric, who incapacitates Fury and activates a virus to disable Iron Man. With the final invasion looming, the real Captain America and his allies prepare to thwart the Skrull threat and save their comrades. As the Skrulls tighten their grip on Earth, infiltrating organizations like AIM, SHIELD, and SWORD, chaos ensues. The scroll imposters wreak havoc, causing destruction and chaos. The Sedzuard ship, Damocles, is destroyed by the scroll imposter of Henrik Jairich, forcing a mass evacuation. With the scrolls spreading across the planet and using Captain America's influence to manipulate humans, hope seems dim. When Hawkeye, Wasp, and Ms. Marvel are captured by Varang's army of super scrolls, the situation appears dire. However, Iron Man and Thor reunite with the real Captain America, rallying together in a final stand against the scroll invasion determined to save Earth from total domination. In the aftermath of the Skrull invasion, public sentiment turns against Captain America, with a mob damaging the Captain America and Bucky statue at Ellis Island. The Daily Booble runs a headline labeling Captain America as a traitor, despite Iron Man's attempts to convey the truth. J. Jonah Jameson remains skeptical and voices his disdain for powered heroes. Stark arranges an interview with the real Captain America assigned to Betty Brandt and Peter Parker. Meanwhile, protests against Captain America persist as they oversee a prisoner transfer. During the interview, the convoy is ambushed by the Serpent Society. Captain America and Hawkeye engage in combat, while Peter Parker transforms into Spider-Man to aid the Avengers. The battle causes a street collapse, trapping Captain America, Spider-Man, and the convoy. They rescue civilians and prisoners from the wreckage, but face hostility from the civilians towards Captain America. Spider-Man attempts to defend him, but Captain America prioritizes their safety as the tunnel's stability is compromised. As Spider-Man leads the group through the tunnel, Captain America maintains his resolve despite Viper's taunts. Spider-Man questions why Cap won't defend himself, but Cap emphasizes that actions define a hero, not public opinion. A Serpent Society surrounds them, demanding Viper's release. While Quartermain guides civilians to safety, Cap and Spider-Man fight the Serpent Society. In a daring effort, Cap protects civilians from the collapsing tunnel while Spider-Man holds the ceiling. 
With civilians' help, Cap breaks free and inspires Spider-Man to persevere. As the Avengers arrive, they evacuate everyone before the tunnel collapses. Later, Spider-Man feels frustrated by the Daily Bubble's headline misrepresenting their heroism. Despite this, Spider-Man plans to teach J. Jonah a lesson and reaffirms his commitment to being a hero. As he bids farewell to Captain America, Spider-Man vows to ensure that no other heroes are unjustly labeled as menaces. As the Weapon X soldiers prepare to attack an unknown invader, the Vision phases through the walls and easily defeats them. He then proceeds to a room containing a large tube of adamantium. Meanwhile, Captain America, Black Panther, Thor, and Hawkeye are in Wakanda, leading a floating lab through the streets. Cap expresses gratitude to Black Panther for fixing his shield but urges him to rejoin the Avengers. However, Panther insists on prioritizing his duties in Wakanda. Hawkeye becomes frustrated, accusing Panther of leaving when things get tough. Cap reminds them of the impact of the Skrull invasion, urging unity despite their differences. As Wasp and Jane Foster watch a horror movie at the Avengers Mansion, Vision suddenly phases through the wall, startling them. Wasp tries to defend against Vision's inquiries about Captain America's shield, but Vision easily overpowers her. Jane, feeling pressured, reveals the shield's location to Vision. In the struggle, Wasp is injured and rendered unconscious as Vision departs with the shield. Jane frantically administers CPR and mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation to revive Wasp, who eventually regains consciousness. Meanwhile, Vision heads to the lower levels of the mansion, hijacks a Quinjet, and flies to Wakanda, leaving behind the aftermath of destruction. Vision returns to Ultron and reports his failure to obtain Vibranium, but Ultron sees an opportunity in acquiring Adamantium instead. Ultron instructs Vision to forget about the Vibranium and focus on obtaining Adamantium for his new armor. With Ultron's directive in mind, Vision sets out to gather the necessary resources for his creator's plans, signaling the beginning of a new phase in Ultron's schemes. In a desperate bid for revenge, Loki is offered a chance by the freed Enchantress, empowered by Surtur, to strike at the Avengers. The Wrecking Crew initiates a battle against Thor, Iron Man, Captain America, and Hawkeye. A mystical storm disables the hero's powers, rendering Iron Man, Thor, and Captain America powerless. Only Hawkeye remains unaffected due to his lack of superpowers. Enchantress manipulates Loki's soul into the Destroyer armor and sends him to attack the Avengers. As the powerless heroes retreat to the subway, Hawkeye defends them against the pursuing Wrecking Crew. Eventually, Thor rediscovers his inner strength, leading to the restoration of powers for himself, Iron Man, and Captain America. Together, they defeat Loki, who is ultimately returned to the Midgard Serpent by Enchantress, facing eternal torment. Despite their victory, Surtur forewarns of Ragnaros' imminent arrival, signaling a looming threat. Iron Man preserves the Destroyer armor as a trophy within Avengers Mansion, marking the end of the conflict. The Avengers escort Whirlwind to 42 Prison but encounter power fluctuations and the leader's strange rantings. Investigating, they find bugs have sabotaged the facility and attacked guards. Thor and Ms. Marvel battle the swarm outside, while Wasp and Captain America defend the control room. They discover the bugs are controlled by a central entity. Overwhelmed, they regroup, coordinating their efforts to contain the swarm. Despite their best efforts, they struggle to overcome the relentless onslaught. Trapped outside, Thor and Ms. Marvel battle the swarm while the Avengers prepare for a final stand. Sensors reveal the bugs surrounding the super prison, poised for an imminent attack. The Avengers enlist prisoner volunteers, including the leader, Abomination, and others, for defense. Captain America denies Baron Zemo's participation due to past betrayals. Meanwhile, Thor shares with the Executioner about rescuing the Enchantress from Surtur's control. As the Defenders deploy, Wasp and others act as a strategic reserve. In the control room, Ms. Marvel and Shield agents stand ready to destroy the gateway if needed. The bugs swarm controlled by Annie Hylas, causing casualties among the Defenders. As the front line retreats to the second choke point, Radioactive Man, Wasp, and Absorbing Man cover their escape to the cell block. Inside, Defenders face waves of bugs, with Captain America directing S.H.I.E.L.D. agents to the control center, while Abomination and Leader join them. The Avengers confront Anihilus, but their attacks are ineffective. In the control room, Leader disrupts Anihilus' shields, enabling the Defenders to defeat him and his control wand. The bugs turn on Anihilus, allowing the Defenders to emerge victorious. The 42 is heavily damaged, its inhabitants are safe. Captain America welcomes the new shield shift at the gateway, declaring welcome to 42. Ms. Marvel encounters a fox Iron Man who dismisses her from the team and implants a robotic scorpion into her nervous system. Meanwhile, Cap trains with his old shield as Clint teases him about his tech skills. A robotic Hawkeye attacks, revealing a robotic Cap. 
Amidst the chaos, the real Cap emerges, having infiltrated the synthetic Avengers undetected. Vision confronts Jan in her room, accidentally injuring her while trying to capture her unharmed. Feeling guilty, Vision violates his directive. The Robe Avengers target Thor using exclusion tactics. Cap discovers the Avengers imprisoned by Ultron, who plans to transfer Jan's mind into a robot called Jocasta for perfection. Vision shows signs of empathy towards January Ultron detects Cap's presence and attacks, but Vision frees the Avengers, initiating a battle against the robotic counterparts. Despite their efforts, Ultron made of adamantium remains resilient. However, Vision disables him, allowing Thor to defeat him. Cap rescues Vision, acknowledging his sacrifice. Despite Wasp's objections, Cap shows compassion, demonstrating the essence of humanity. Outside, Captain successfully rescues Vision and brings him to safety. Malfunctioning, Vision expresses his realization that Ultron's definition of perfection was flawed. He desires to be perfect by embracing his humanity, contrary to Ultron's vision of cold logic. Wasp and Iron Man attempt to persuade Hank Pym to rejoin the Avengers, but he remains consumed by his experiments and haunted by guilt over Ultron. Moments after they leave, an explosion rocks Hank's room, leaving behind only broken goggles. Assuming Hank is dead, the Avengers hold a funeral, where Tony Stark delivers a eulogy. Captain America consoles Jan, but their mourning is interrupted by Nick Fury, who reveals the explosion was murder. Suspecting the Serpent Society, Cap and Black Panther survey a safe house, only to encounter a new vigilant, Yellow Jacket. After a skirmish, Wasp intervenes and they battle on the rooftop. Jan begins to suspect Hank is Yellow Jacket. Tony Stark unexpectedly finds himself transported to an alternate reality, where he reigns as Emperor Stark, imposing strict authoritarian rule for the sake of peace. Concerned for their missing teammate, the Avengers mobilize to investigate and discover the truth. Confronting Emperor Stark, Vision struggles with his loyalty to his creator and his sense of justice, while each Avenger faces moral dilemmas. Captain America leads the charge for freedom, with Thor, Hulk, Black Widow, and Hawkeye joining the fight. Despite formidable opposition, the Avengers defeat Emperor Stark and restore Tony's morality. With his senses returned, Tony vows to wield his power responsibly, learning the dangers of unchecked authority. In the midst of widespread destruction caused by the Red Hulk, the Avengers, led by Captain America, race to contain the threat. Each member brings their unique skills to the table, but tensions rise as they grapple with the urgency of the situation and the mystery surrounding their adversary's identity and motivations. Meanwhile, the Red Hulk's rampage continues unabated, pushing the Avengers to their limits both physically and emotionally. Personal conflicts simmer within the team, but as innocent lives hang in the balance, they must set aside their differences and unite to stop the threat. In a pulse-pounding climax, the Avengers confront the Red Hulk in a showdown that tests their strength and convictions. Through teamwork and unwavering resolve, they emerge victorious, reaffirming their status as Earth's mightiest heroes. This episode begins with Captain America's reunion with his long-lost friend Bucky Barnes, only to discover that Bucky has been brainwashed and transformed into the deadly assassin known as the Winter Soldier. As the Avengers investigate a series of mysterious attacks, they uncover the chilling truth. Bucky, under the control of his captors, is responsible for the violence. Captain America is thrust into a heart-wrenching dilemma, torn between his duty as an Avenger and his loyalty to his friend. The rest of the Avengers, including Iron Man, Thor, Hulk, stand by Captain America's side as they confront the Winter Soldier and his handlers. However, tensions run high within the team as they grapple with the moral complexities of their mission. In a climactic showdown, Captain America confronts the Winter Soldier in a battle that tests the limits of his strength and convictions. Through unwavering faith, Captain America refuses to give up on his friend, ultimately breaking through the Winter Soldier's programming and restoring Bucky's humanity. Captain America and Iron Man head to a Hulkbuster base to free Hulk, who has been cleared of crimes committed by Red Hulk. However, Hulk becomes enraged and flees into the woods. Thunderbolt Ross warns them of the danger they've unleashed. Iron Man calls on the Avengers to help subdue Hulk. Eventually, Red Hulk arrives and aids in defeating Hulk, leading to his recruitment into the team. Meanwhile, Captain America and Wasp discover a device on Hulk's head at Hydro Base. After its removal, the Avengers confront Red Hulk, who had placed the device on Hulk. Iron Man reveals he implanted a device on Red Hulk's Avengers ID, reverting him to Thunderbolt Ross. Shocked by the revelation, Ross is sent to jail. Hulk, now clear of wrongdoing, takes time away to cool off, but vows to return when needed for the final battle. Kane the Conqueror appears in the Arc Reactor Room, where Hawkeye tries to stop him but is quickly beaten. Captain America assembles the Avengers to confront Kang, who sends them hurtling through the time stream. Meanwhile, Iron Man activates the new Avengers protocol, finding himself in limbo with the Avengers. 
Spider-Man, initially occupied with sandwiches, battles Velociraptors until joined by Wolverine, War Machine, Thing, Luke Cage, and Iron Fist. Iron Man and Jarvis brief Spider-Man's team, entrusting him with leadership. Despite setbacks, Spider-Man rallies his team and devises a plan to distract Kang from his time machine. With Spider-Man's quick thinking, Kang is defeated as the original Avengers return from limbo. Grateful for Spider-Man's leadership, Iron Man makes him a reserve member of the Avengers alongside Iron Fist, Luke Cage, Thing, War Machine, and Wolverine. As Sword investigates a warp field anomaly near the sun using the captured Kree starship Falcon 1, they encounter two incoming vessels, a small shuttle and a Kree warship. Falcon 1 engages the warship and calls for assistance from Earth. The Avengers swiftly respond and confront Captain Marvel at Hydro Base for insights on the Kree's intentions. Marvel reveals that Earth's strategic location in time slash space makes it a target for the Kree, who seek to create a stable wormhole near the sun using six warships as energy conduits. This poses a threat to Earth, and Marvel offers to modify the Quinjet for subspace jumps and assist in deactivating the gate. Additionally, he enhances the Quinjet's shields and space suits to withstand the sun's proximity. As the Avengers prepare to depart in their Quinjet, they are ambushed by a Kree stealth ops team. Agent Bran and Yellowjacket engage the commandos to buy time for the others. Thor provides cover fire as the Avengers launch into space. In the cosmic battlefield, the Avengers split into two teams, one attacking the Kree warship while the other boards the damaged Falcon 1 to aid its crew. Meanwhile, at Hydro Base, Yellowjacket and Agent Bran fend off Kree intruders searching for Ronan the Accuser's cell. In space, the Avengers breach the warship's shields using Iron Man's ingenuity, initiating a fierce battle on board. On the Falcon 1, the Avengers confront a Kree sentry, with Black Panther utilizing the ship's teleporter to dispatch it into the sun. With both threats neutralized, the Avengers secure the Falcon 1 and capture the Kree warship. However, tensions rise as the generator ships activate, hinting at a looming danger yet to be faced. On Hydra Base, the Kree stealth ops secure the universal weapon, intending to deliver it to Ronan the Accuser. Yellowjacket intervenes, prompting Agent Brand to focus on defusing a Kree explosive, allowing the Kree to free Ronan and depart. Meanwhile, the Avengers observe the Kree wormhole activating. Captain America decides they must enter it to destroy the generator ships. Marvel warns of the dangers of wormhole travel, but Hawkeye offers a solution. Iron Man suggests using the Falcon's tractor beam to aid their escape. On Hydro Base, Yellowjacket disposes of the Kree explosive in the microverse. He reveals his prank to Agent Bran, earning her ire but defusing the situation. As the Avengers prepare to escape, an explosion separates the Quinjet from the Falcon 1, endangering the Black Panther. Despite the risk, Captain America refuses to abandon him. The team faces a critical decision. Shut down the wormhole or face the wrath of the approaching Kree Armada. With unwavering resolve, the Avengers enter the wormhole, guided by Hawkeye's precise shot. As they emerge in Kree space, they confront a formidable Armada, ready to defend their territory. The Avengers face perilous challenges after being separated by the Kree warships. Iron Man, Thor, Vision, and Hawkeye combat Kree training beasts, quickly realizing they're outnumbered. Meanwhile, Captain America, Ms. Marvel, Captain Marvel, and Wasp are captured and brought before the Supreme Intelligence, who orders their examination and the execution of Captain Marvel as a traitor. As the situation grows dire, Black Panther arrives in a stolen Kree jet, rescuing the stranded Avengers. He explains his daring escape from the Falcon and journey to Hala. With the team reunited, they press onward towards the tower, ready to confront the Kree threat and rescue their captured comrades. In the tower, the Avengers face peril as Ms. Marvel, Captain America, and Wasp endure brutal tests by the Kree. With Cap's heroic intervention, they break free just as the others arrive. Together, they confront the Supreme Intelligence, believed to be unbeatable. Through teamwork and Vision's efforts, they disable the Intelligence's systems, allowing Captain Marvel to deliver the final blow. However, realizing the consequences of their actions, they suggest Captain Marvel could lead the Kree with Earth's values. He accepts, and the Avengers return home, leaving behind a changed Kree empire. In the midst of the chaos, Iron Man grapples with the limitations of his failing arc reactor, knowing that his ability to fight is at stake. Thor faces a difficult choice between his duties as an Asgardian prince and his loyalty to Earth, torn between two worlds. Meanwhile, Hulk battles to control his rage, fully aware of the devastating consequences if he loses control. With their unmatched skills and expertise, how maneuver and outwit the enemy forces at every turn. As the climactic showdown continues, alliances are forged, sacrifices are made, and heroes rise to the occasion, showcasing courage and heroism. Together, the Avengers prove their invincible spirit, 
emerging victorious and saving Earth from certain destruction once again. So that will be it from us. If you enjoyed the video, then do let us know about your favorite episode of the series. Also, leave us a like and subscribe to our channel for similar content. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the next one.